Hello, this is Manash Patel with IMTF Trade. Today is September 4th, 2019. Today, what we want to do is we want to look at some unusual options activity. Uh, reason why we're doing that is markets swinging back and forth coming after Labor Day. Um, and typically, September going into mid October is kind of ugly for the markets where they typically consolidate majority of the times. And that's what you'll typically notice in patterns. So today, we're basically going to look at unusual options. I want to kind of show people what does not look correct. The reason why is a lot of people sit there and tell you like, this is good, this is good, this is good, and so forth. But a lot of people don't show you the things that don't work or things that you should step away from. So here uh, we basically have set up in our scanner IMTF trade, unusual option activity. I'm looking for two, two times the activity. And here's KMX here. I'm highlighting here. Uh, you could see it's basically three times the normal activity for both the calls and puts. Okay, we're not looking at individual, but we're looking at both the calls and puts combined when we do everything here. Uh, you could see there's a lot more activity right here, 44, uh, 4, 4,430 compared to 1,444. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look to see where the options are and go from there. So what I'm going to do is... There's many platforms you could do this in. I'm going to do this in Thinkorswim since a lot of people do use Thinkorswim. So I put in KMX here and then went under the options, times, and sales. And you could see here, basically, you have 2,200 plus options, basically, the October 80 put. Okay. Uh, and you could see they're buying here because they're not in red. But either way, this could be a spread. It could be something else out there, part of a different option strategy. But this looks like single puts right here where someone's betting on this going down for uh, to at least $80, $80 and below since they're paying a price of $2.30. So $80 minus $2.30, they believe price is going to sit there and go below that level there. Okay, so they believe it's going to go below $78 at least in order for them to start making money, assuming that this is a single call put they bought a whole bunch of them. So now what we want to do is we want to pump this through our charts and see what makes sense. Okay. Now, before we go through the charts, we need to go for a normal disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting a buyer or seller in a particular instrument. All information is owned by EII Capital Group. Cannot be copied or without our uh, permission. We are broker neutral, so we do support various charting and broker platforms out there from TradeStation, eSignal, Thinkorswim, and so forth. Today, we will be show using Thinkorswim for the options side, and then we're going to be using uh, TradingView uh, for the charting side. So let's begin and start showing the charts for verification. So first thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what type of trade this is. Uh, now this is a October 18 trade uh, that the the person pretty much bought puts on and if you look here you could kind of completely see at earnings here uh, which is September 23rd. So my guess is is that basically we're about two weeks before there uh, so I guess this I'm assuming that this is going to be earnings play uh, where this person's assuming that this stock is going to sit there and drastically go down uh, with earnings uh, because this is one month before earnings but we're pretty much playing it two weeks before that. Uh, today was a drastic move up day and this week you could kind of see it's uh, bullish where it went up 2.5 percent. Um, so if you look at the daily time frame this is what the daily looks like and you could see here in the daily time frame here we've gone up close to three percent and this person put the trade on uh, pretty much 10 minutes after market opened this morning um, so they uh, did it after the basically this big move up um, and of course you want to put puts on when the markets are going when the stock is going up that way you get them a lot better price now if this is an earnings trade that you want to stick to weekly time frame the reason why earnings are weekly and you could better forecast based on the weekly time frames here okay so that's what we're going to do here we're going to do that right there and you could see from this chart here this does not look like it's bearish at all so i would not be looking at these option trades that this person did put on uh reason why is if you look here uh, we are above the clouds, so that means we're bullish. We are above the green line, that means there's a, a high probability that we're trending, and you could see that we are because this is the green shaded setup here. 
it got triggered into a breakout trade right there and we've been in this trade here if you were entering this trade long term and the stops are down here and you could see there's a multiple time frame cross right there which we pretty much have held so this is still very very strong bullish and right now it's got a high probability to come to either this cross here or that cross up there so one of those two crosses it's the price is trying to get to right mm -hmm. there so this has more uh, has a higher probability going up than going down so right now i would not be looking at sitting there putting these october uh 80 put trade uh, options on at all uh, because this definitely does not look bearish to me at all uh, so these are the type of things that we're looking at here uh, you can look at another one here what was ati atvi uh, that was here and on atvi let me show you this. On ATVI, you could see here, this was basically a 50 put right there. There was a quantity of 30 right there, and you could see that was right there. Uh, and then there was 70 for there. There's not much options there. I'm looking for quantity that's a lot, lot higher. Uh, as we start posting uh, and go from there. Uh, ATVI really did not have much activity there uh, for me to even think about at all to look at it there. Uh, but if you look at the charts, and that was looking at a November, one person was looking at 60 call, another person 50 put. Uh, but you really can't tell what's going on here uh, because this is a bearish trade. This is since it's below the cloud, you can see there's a bearish trend and now it's going for a pullback here. Uh, so really don't see anything here for November. Uh, and you could see that this person is probably targeting the November earnings there too, uh, from what it looks like here. Uh, so you want to sit there and filter out and kind of look for unusual options. Then you go down to that particular instrument, see exactly what trade that person's putting on. You're looking for quantity at least a thousand plus uh, where a person is heavily invested in it. Um, and remember, you can't assume that they're buying a single call and put. It could be a spread. It could be exiting positions or something like that. And this is why you have to verify it with technical charts. Okay. If you guys have any questions, uh, you could feel free to email us. Uh, and let me pull that up for you. There's a contact information right there. If you do like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunman4008, and please press likes uh, if you do like this video. Uh, if we start getting enough subscribers, what we may start doing is start offering more informational videos on a daily basis for subscribers now. Thank you.